Hello friends, it's Gant the Board, and I'm wanting to show you something just a little bit special. This is something that I have had on a list for a long time, and I thought it would be really interesting to, as we kind of learn the basics of uh, machine learning and AI, to actually take a look at what about applying this to this something really simple yet fun, like tic-tac-toe. So I thought it'd be really cool, what if we took TensorFlow.js, and then applied it to a simple game of tic-tac-toe. Now, one of the things that normally happens is when you're doing uh, any kind of board game, you generally don't use uh, a model-based framework. You use something like Q-learning, but I found tic-tac-toe to be ridiculously simple. And I said, you know what? What about a simple perceptron-based, not even deep, basic two-layer neural network could that overfit the data and actually learn all the moves that are necessary to play tic-tac-toe? And I've made it interactive and I made it fun and I hope that you get to check it out as well. So this is available at TensorFlow tic-tac-toe.co. Uh, <laughs> it just rhymed. And so Frank Von Hoven, Infinite Frank on Twitter said tic-tac-toe.co. I was like, let's do this. Uh, unfortunately, tic-tac-toe.co was taken, so now it's TensorFlow, tic-tac-toe.co. Uh, let's get right into this so you can actually check it out. So as this starts off, you have, oh my goodness, this guy's, is he a pro designer? How does he do all this cool stuff? Um, actually, all these are generated from really cool uh, tools that people put on the website, uh, on different websites out there. And uh, I'd be happy to show you where I got all these assets from because it's pretty neat. Uh, the things that you can kind of get to spice up your fun projects on a weekend in a short amount of time. So let's take a look first here and we can see that we have make an AI move. And you can see that the AI has seen zero games. So this simple neural network is set up and can give us any of nine possible moves. And it has never seen a game before in its life. So let's see how it does. We're going to say make AI move. Ah, it goes in the corner. It's actually pretty strategic for uh, tic-tac-toe. Uh, going in the corner again. I don't think that that's very strategic for, for O. Ah, looks like X is moving in for the kill here. Oh, are you going to block it? No, that you're just going to waste your move right there. OK, cool. Now X can finish you off. OK, X uh, does nothing of the sort. And as you can see, we oh, are we going to actually have a winner? No, we we, we got a tie. We got a tie. Um, this AI has seen no games, has no idea what it's doing. And the moves that it's throwing out there are horrible. Um, and you get this option at the end train to play a lot more like X or train to play a lot more like O. We don't want it to learn from either of these because they both suck. So I'm gonna empty the board out and let's go ahead and let's do a good move here. So we'll do the corner move like we saw earlier. And now I'm gonna click, uh, let's make O make a mistake and move here. Uh, now what we'll do is X will force a, a, a potential uh, mate I guess I throw in some chess terminology. Why the hell not? O has to block, but now X has the kill move. Boom. Uh, now X can win two different ways. We'll have O go to the bottom right for a block, and X will kill at the bottom left. Well done, X. As a matter of fact, we want to teach our AI to play a little bit more like this. So I'm going to click this button here. And then we get our awesome training animation in CSS because your GPU is not screaming already, right? And now if we ask X, to, let's ask uh, the AI to move. So we see a corner move, which we like. And um, let's, uh, let's mirror what, what our O's were doing earlier. So I click O here and make, yep. X knows to go ahead and force O. So O has to go. X comes in again. Perfect. And what was this looks like a mirror of our previous version. So last time I went to bottom right for a block um, and this is a mirror. So I'm gonna go bottom right again. 
Let's see what you can do here, AI. Aha, it goes in for the kill after seeing that one game again. Um, and we don't want to train it up again. I'm just going to empty the board out. But let's see what it does. Let's uh, see. O throws something a little random at it. What are you going to do, X? Okay, a little interesting there. Uh, very blockable. Um, and O goes here. But let's see. It still learned enough from that previous game that it understands that it's trying to go for getting X's in a row. And I think this is extraordinary. This AI has seen one game. <laughs> and from that, it's actually balanced and weighted itself in 100 epochs in order to go ahead and play a little bit better. But as human beings, we want to kind of like push the boundary, right? This thing's not unbeatable. So let's uh, let's make O play quite well here. So we'll, we'll, now we're playing very intelligently as O. And then we'll have, um, we'll make AI move there. And that's just terrible. That's a really bad move there, uh, X. So uh, I don't know if I should, so we have some options here. We can go back and teach X the right thing to do in this, or we can continue on and teach O how to go ahead and capitalize on this. So let's say O is gonna protect, um, and then X goes there, ah, kill move for O. Learn to be more like O. And now our AI is learning that. Now you might see uh, some of you have different amounts of training time here. I'm on a nice computer, so you're gonna see it uh, learn a bit more, but I'm gonna just pull up the inspection here and pull up the console. And you can actually watch the training happen. You don't just have to see the silly training. We can watch the performance as it actually learns. It gets more and more accurate. We have a 88% accurate on watching these two games and the data sets continuing to go forward. And I've found, uh, oddly enough, let's, uh, let's play it one more time here. We'll have X. Um, by the way, did O learn how to play here? Let's make O move. O knew to go in the middle. Good job. Now let's see if we can mess up this, this AI here. I'm gonna go for one of these. Uh, so it's pretty much blocked everything I wanna do. If you know tic-tac-toe, you know what I'm talking about. And, ah! You done messed up, oh, I got myself a nice little kill here. Um, no matter what you do, I've got gotcha. you. So O can do that, and then X goes in. Good job, X. We'll teach it to that game as well. And we'll just take a look here. We'll watch this thing train. Oh, you trained too quickly. Oh, we missed it for a second there. Oh, that was really cool. Anyways, I found that... Um, Within about six games or so, I can make a pretty unbeatable um, AI from this. And I found that's pretty interesting. Uh, only by showing it uh, with a few human-based examples, uh, you can have an amazing AI. And it's just fun to watch it actually learn, you know, and see where it's at. You can actually see how it's playing right now. Um, oh, look. Oh, oh, blocked, but yep, done. See? So this is really cool. If you want to take this kind of data and do your own thing at the same time, you can now pull down from this, uh, what we've watched three games now, you can actually pull down the currently trained model, which uh, is pretty strong on X, as we saw just from a moment ago, O has some stuff to learn. And you can actually download the past game training. So you can download the, the effective model, which is a TensorFlow.js model. Or you can download uh, the games and train this in Brain.js. You could train this in um, Python, uh, Rust, whatever you want. Uh, so it's basically, you can play a bunch of games to get it all set up so that this AI is nice and strong, export the training data and use it as a teaching tool for your, your um, Python notebooks or wherever else you might want to kind of show this data. So I hope that this is a fun and interactive and interesting aspect here. Uh, I'll be sure to use this as a teaching tool in the future. It's 100% open source and it is here for the community. So um, please tag it, share it, uh, show everybody this is a neat little thing. And I hope you enjoyed this adventure into machine learning with me with TensorFlow, tic-tac-toe.co. Cheers, everybody.